Now, before we get to the video, if you're new to the channel, I wanted to let you know that we try to stay up to date on all things 3D printing, from filament and printer reviews to in-depth slicer analysis, as well as a plethora of how-to videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified every time we post a new video. Hey guys, Technivers here. Today we are just doing a quick review of where they move the plugins to in Cura. So we haven't finished our slicer battles video yet, and the reason is because it is a long, extensive process going through all the plugins and community add-ons for all of the different slicers. So before we get into doing that, I just wanted to show you in this quick Kira video that there used to be a spot up here, a tab that said, or not a tab, excuse me, a menu item that said um, plugins. And after version 3.0, so starting with version 4.0, they removed that. So now if you need a plugin, you're going to need to go to the marketplace here. When you open up the marketplace, it will give you not only plugins, but materials as well. Now my internet connection is being kind of slow, so this list is taking forever to populate. During the changeover between Kira 3 and 4, they totally revamped this, this plugin process and the procedures for posting plugins. So some of the plugins, in fact, a lot of them didn't transfer over, and unfortunately, the Ultimaker plugin is one of them. So if you want to use the Ultimaker plugin, you're going to have to keep your older version it works really well on version 3.2. We'll be doing a video on that later as well. But I just wanted to show you in case you wanted to find the plugin section for yourself and test them, test some out. There's stuff in here for uh, more mesh options for your models. There is stuff in here. There's an Octoprint plugin. Um, there is a brute force plugin that basically converts inches to millimeters. And there's a few others, not too many. There's about 12 plugins altogether. You can also go to the Materials tab and download materials. There are several manufacturers in there with pre-spec material selections. So that's pretty cool. If you haven't checked out the Marketplace, that's the place to check for your plugins and material downloads. So don't forget that this is here, and be sure to check it from time to time. They do add new plugins pretty regularly, but that's something that they depend on the community to do. Most of them are community-made and approved by Ultimaker and then placed in the Marketplace. So. Like I said, feel free to check that out. Check out all of the extra. There's a ton of materials in here if it would ever show up. So uh, that's pretty cool too. I was looking at some of the Polymaker ones. There's only three or four, I think, from them and none of their main ones. Generally, they're the harder to work with materials or the ones that need specific settings. And in that way, you can just click that, use that material, and automatically adjust your settings, some of them, to where they need to be. So that's a great option to have. Uh, this is it, just short and quick, just wanted to show you guys that, and I am out of here. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel?